Hi, I'm Bill from CJ Pony Parts. We get a lot of requests from our customers asking for videos on how to install weather strip onto their classic Mustangs. If you own an older Mustang, chances are at some point you're going to have to replace some weather stripping. One of the more commonly worn out pieces is going to be the belt line, which is found on the door and the quarter panel of coupes and convertibles. So today we're going to show you how to install a complete eight piece belt line kit using the 65 Mustang Coupe. Also known as dew wipes or cat whiskers, the belt line kit is designed to keep water from your door windows from getting down inside the door or quarter, which can cause rust damage down the road. This is a complete eight piece kit fitting your Mustang coupe or convertible from 1965 through 1966. Your front inner and outer belt line are going to install using the supplied clips as will the rear outer. The rear inner belt line installs using the supplied staples. The belt line weather strip currently on our 65 coupe is typical of what we see for a lot of Mustangs that come in here. The inner belt line, as you can see, there's many broken clips. So it's not really doing much anymore. All the cat whisker material on the inside, the felt is gone. So it's not going to accomplish much at all. In the case of this, they actually weren't removed when the car was painted. So it's actually a coat of paint on the top of it as well. We're going to start with the doors and move on to the quarter panels. For this installation, you'll need a Phillips head screwdriver. Depending on what kind of window crank and door crank you need, you may need a crank removal tool or four millimeter Allen key pliers, wire cutters, 3 8 ratchet, half inch socket, door panel removal tool, hammer, punch, T10 Torx bit, plastic pry bar, drill with either a 1 16th or 5 64th drill bit, and safety glasses. To be able to remove the original and install the new belt line weather strip in the door, we gotta make sure the window can go all the way down past the stop. To do that, we gotta remove the stop, which means removing the door panel, going inside the bottom of the door. Next, remove your armrest. There's two screws located underneath. With the handles and armrest out of the way, now we can remove our door panel. There's two different versions of a stop you may find in your 65 through 66 Mustang. The later ones are gonna have a stop all the way at the bottom of the door here, which we can show you on this clip from the 67 Mustang that we did. In the case of our 65 Mustang, it's actually a stop located right here. So we're gonna remove these two bolts here and that'll allow us to put the window down further. Now I can roll the window down. Go far enough down that we can access our belt line. We're going to grab our plastic pry bar and start by removing what's left of our inside belt line. As you can see, not much left of it. Now we'll do the same with the outer. If yours was painted over like ours was, I'm going to grab a razor blade first. Just go carefully down the edge here to make sure it's separate. Again, same story, there's no felt left at all on these. Many times the clips will break off when removing your belt line. Just grab a set of pliers and make sure all the clips are out before trying to install the new stuff. Now you want to make sure all the holes on the door on the inside and outside are clean and smooth before you install the new belt line. If this sticks out too far, it'll leave a gap and water can get in. What you want to do is grab a punch, and if you have any sticking out like this one, just lightly tap them into place with a hammer. Go 
Before installing, you want to remove this blue tape to protect the chrome trim. You do have an early 65, we do have the same kit available, which would be a black bead instead of the chrome. Now we can start installing the inner. You want to make sure you put it in place so this edge here is facing downward. What you want to do is get all the clips lined up first. And typically you can push them in by hand. Sometimes you may need a plastic pry bar, but normally you won't. Get them all lined up, Let's click them into place. Now we can install the outers, which are side specific. You want to make sure you get the proper one where this cutout here is going to be on the outside edge of the door. Just like on the inner, you want to kind of get it down into place and get the clips lined up. And then clip them on. Now we can reinstall the window stop and reinstall our door panel. Before we put the door panel back on, I want to put the window down and make sure the stop is adjusted properly. There we go, right where we want it. And we can reinstall the door panel. Make sure you push down directly on top of the clip and putting them back in. Now you want to repeat the process on the driver's side and move on to the quarter panel. Now we're going to move on the inner and outer belt line for our quarter windows. To do that, we need to remove the quarter trim panel. The first step in that process is remove our back seat. So you reach underneath the seat and just pull straight up. Your back seat may or may not have bolts at the bottom. If it does, just remove them. In our case, it's going to pull us and pop it straight up. The quarter window crank is held on by one little set screw right in the side here. We loosen that and we pop off the handle. Now we can remove the quarter trim panel mounting screws. We can remove our belt line. I'm going to take out the back two screws on your door sill plate. Put the window down here. Get it down below the belt line. Again, since it was painted, we're going to run a razor blade through just to make sure it separates. Again, like the front and make sure it's smooth. Just like on the front, so we're gonna line up the rear with the holes. And squeeze it into place. Like we mentioned earlier, the factory outer belt line weather strip for the rear panels is actually stapled to the quarter trim panel. We're gonna remove the factory staples. The simplest way to do it is cut them in half and remove them with pliers. Now 
Then you want to cut out the residual staples that were not removed. The new belt line is going to staple in place of the factory right here. Not all the holes are going to line up and the belt line will fit slightly differently. What I recommend doing is line up the front holes here and make new holes in the back if you have to. Push the staple through from the back. I'll actually put holes in the front belt for you. You can flip it around and easily find the front stop and put it through. All I like to do is before you press it in, once you have the staple in, use a razor blade, clear the area under the staple a little bit, get some of the felt out of there, allow the staple to sit a lot flatter when it's installed on the car. Grab a small drill bit, just clean out the holes first. Push through the second location for the staple. Grab our drill. Once you get the staples in place, you want to grab a decent sized set of pliers. Basically, you want to push down on the top and then turn to get the staple to go into place. Once the staples are bent into place, you're ready to reinstall your quarter trim panel. Then you put your window up, repeat the process on the other side, and we can reinstall our back seat. Installation's finished. Replacing the Beltline weather strip on your Mustang is cheap insurance against future rust damage to both your doors and possibly your quarter panels. Installation only takes you around two or three hours, you'll be back on the road in no time.